We'll wait about one more minute and then we'll get started on this. We do like to make sure that people can hear us. So um, if you can hear us, we're going to ask you to raise your hand. You should see an icon for a hand on your screen someplace. Uh, Marian, Probably you... over to the right. It's a yellow hand, like a stop sign kind of hand. So if you can hear us, just click on that. And when we see some hands being raised, we'll know that we're good to go. <clears throat> and I don't see any. <clears throat> well, that's not good. No. Ah, uh, someone says her hand is not working. Let's see if... Mm. Okay, I see I needed to do something, and now I think perhaps your hands are working. Okay, thank you, everybody. <laughs> it's something I had to do. Thank you. We're, we're pretty new at this webinar stuff, so there's a lot we need to learn yet. But we found this morning, we did a, a webinar this morning, and I think we most people found it beneficial, so I hope tonight you will too. So I'm ready to get started and to, to start our webinar about how to place your initial order in eBuddy. And I just want to say that as we go through, we will stop periodically and ask questions that, I mean, tell people that they can ask questions. You can always type in a question. I see some people have put some questions, questions in already. Um, but we'd like to cover the topics tonight, ask for questions on the topics we're covering tonight so we can stay to our time frame that we let everyone know this webinar would last for. So time permitting, if we can get to other questions, we might be able to open it up for that. But mostly tonight we're going to talk about how to place your initial order in eBuddy. Okay, next screen, Roberta, please. <coughs> When you log into eBuddy, the first thing you're going to see is this login screen. You're going to put your email address in and the password in. And the temporary password, the generic password for this year, is in your True Cookie Guide. The generic password is 0366 at RARA, just like the raisin cookie. R, capital, 0366 at capital R lowercase a h, capital R, lowercase a h. That's your generic password. I understand that most people have had some luck using, if, they, if that wasn't working for them, when they clicked to say they'd forgotten their password, and a temporary password was emailed to them. So don't worry if your generic password doesn't work, that forget password will help you get into eBuddy. Next slide, please. Okay, when you first, after you've logged in and you've gone through security questions, you that first time you go through the security questions, you get to this dashboard screen. And the first thing you see there in pink is messages. And on your own screen, you can see real messages from us. This one happens to be blank since we made this up a few days ago. Right now there's a message on your dashboard that says we've extended the inputting date two days. So there's your first message in eBuddy on the dashboard. The other tabs on the top are contacts and that's where your information should be, your address and phone number and stuff. Then settings and settings is uh, where we can put in emails, email addresses, you can update girl uh, levels, the next one is the one we've heard from a lot of people about girls, what girls have been uploaded into eBuddy and what ones we've updated for you. And the next tab is initial order and that's the one we're going to be working on tonight. So let's click, uh, if you click on that, this is the screen you see. This screen has all the girl names loaded on already. And when you're ready to place your order, you click on a girl name. And as you see, the first girl here, Aurora G, has a highlighted line. That's because the person clicked on Aurora, and all that first line lit up. There's usually all zeros there, but once, so when it opens, it's all zeros. At the bottom of that 
screen, the girl names, you see there are boxes that have numbers filled in. That's where you fill in what the girl order is. When you finish each girl, over to the right, you'll see the OK. And you finish each girl's order by clicking OK. After you have placed the girl's order or placed a few girl's order, at the top, on this screen you can't see it, but you see where it says blue printable version above the girl's names. There also will be a green save button, and that's good to click on save as you go along, because we certainly know as parents we're interrupted plenty. So if you save and you come back to the screen, everything you've already done will still be there. Next screen, Roberta. Okay, this is it. Okay, thank you. On this screen, I wanted to show that eBuddy has eBuddy cases up orders, and we, that's a Girl Scout verb casing up. We use that to indicate that eBuddy automatically puts your troop orders into cases. E-Buddy cases are 12. Every case we have has 12 boxes in it. No matter what size the box of Girl Scout cookies is, the case is 12 boxes. So uh, in this case, Savannah Smiles, this troop has placed their order and Savannah Smiles, they've got 136 boxes ordered. They've taken orders for 136 boxes and E-Buddy on the next line has ordered 12 cases. So the troop is getting 144 boxes of Savannah Smiles because they need 136 boxes, which leaves them with eight boxes that are unsold. That's what's on that last line is case boxes of cookies that remain from what cases the troop is ordering. So the eight and the seven and the 10 on that very bottom line are boxes that are not sold yet. So those are what we would call extras that the troop will be receiving and the troop is responsible for selling. Some people use those for donations, which we will talk about later. Next screen, Roberta. I just went through a few of these things, which is that eBuddy rounds orders to cases, which are 12 boxes. Every variety is 12 boxes in a case. And if the troop has under 12 boxes in the order, a case will be automatically ordered. And the troop is responsible for selling the additional cookies. Next slide, please. So here's the slot, this same slide where we have donation columns filled in on both ends. The first column that's being pointed to here is op drop. And Operation Cookie Drop is the council's effort to get soldiers cookies, soldiers in hospitals, soldiers abroad, and Girl Scouts ask people to donate. And the council gift of caring is Operation Cookie Drop. So we have a day in June where girls can go and help package up cookies that are donated and we send them off to get on ships. We send them other places also. So Operation Cookie Drop, last year we collected 90,000 boxes and they were sent on to people in service to our country. So Op Drop cookies are virtual cookies. If the troop has donations that they never want to touch, that they want to go directly from the warehouse to the day we ship cookies, then they should put it in this column, op drop, that first column. At the other end of this, the other column, the last column there is GOC. Gift of Caring is what GOC stands for. Some troops use this column because they want to get the cookies and use them for donations. Sometimes they're doing it there because they want to use their extras in their cases, like this bottom line of cookies that are extras, they use those for donation. Or sometimes they put them in GOC because they are not, their donation, 
recipient is not Operation Cookie Drop. The troop has a special charity or special food pantry or some place they have already designated as the place their donations are going to. So they are going to receive the cookies and they put them in the GOC column. So just to review, OpDrop is virtual cookies. You will never see them. The troop pays for them and they never handle them. And the GOC column is where you would put cookies that you want to actually physically have and you want to use perhaps your extras from the full cases that you will have extras left over from. Some trips use both options just depending on what their intentions are. Okay, I think we'll stop here and see if we have any questions we'd like to get answered. Okay, I'm going to look through. Is the cookie mom responsible to pay for extra boxes, the ones that make up the case? The cookie mom is not responsible. The troop is responsible for extra boxes. Those could be used for booths. They can be used for donations. They can also be go with different troop members when they're delivering a big order perhaps to a business. We know some troops send their extras along with someone who's going back to work with big deliveries and they know that they're going to be able to sell some of those extra mints or lemons as they go along delivering cookies for people who ordered. They also could be used later for a door-to-door, -door, just putting them in the wagon and going door-to-door -door and asking people if they'd like to buy cookies. Sometimes that's an easy way to sell when you have a box of cookies right there to hand someone and get $4. Okay, let's see. Um, the questions are coming in fast and furious. I'm trying to keep up. Um, when do we have time to sell the extra boxes and how will we add to the system? You will receive these cookies at your delivery, and delivery is between April 16th and April 25th. So girls get goal getter cards right after they turn in their order cards, and that's a good, where, good place for girls to catch orders that perhaps they didn't get during the sale. So you might even have those cookies sold before they arrive because girls caught sales. Do you have to enter the extras in the GOC column or do they get entered automatically? Those extras are math that Excel does and they are coming to you. You don't have to do anything with them, they're coming to you. Girls get patched for either donation type right, yes. If cookies appear in GOC or if they appear in op drop columns, the girl gets credit for a gift of caring donation. Can we use our extras at the booth sales? Absolutely. That's a great way to use your extras. It's a good start toward your booth sale. So if you have six of a variety or eight left over, those you can take to your booth sale and perhaps you'll go down on what orders, what you're going to order from council for your booth sales. Where the slide says if there are less than 12 boxes ordered, a case, full case will be ordered. Does that policy apply if zero boxes of a variety are ordered? So if there are no cookies necessary for a girl order, you will not get that kind. If there's a, if, let's choose Savannah Smiles, if no one orders them, you're not getting any. I was told that Operation Cookie Drop cookies now need to be entered into the GOC column. Is that correct? I'll and take that one. Thank you. I will give it to you, but I'll just read the rest. And that, and that we will now be picking up all of those cookies. Well, those cookies need to be ordered by complete cases. Okay. <clears throat> there was an email that was sent out yesterday to some of the service units in the Westchester area. And so some of your service unit cookie chairs probably pass that on to the troops. Um, we have a wonderful volunteer, Allison Bergman, who began Operation Cookie Drop in 2011 um, and has continued to uh, run that for us ever since. 
there are events that cookies are donated to prior to uh, the load-in that happens in June. For example, you've probably all heard of Fleet Week when the Navy comes into the New York Harbor and the ships are docked there for a few days. The sailors get to go into the city. They have a lot of events for the sailors. Uh, we give cookies every year to that event for those um, sailors to enjoy while they're in port. There are some other events uh, that are done for a military, some of them for veterans, um, some of them for current military, some of them on local bases, um, that need cookies before June. And before, sometimes before um, all the service units have actually been delivered, so we're trying to get those troops who live in the Westchester area because that's where Allison is and that's where she would be picking up these cookies to deliver to Fleet Week or the other events that she's doing. We're trying to get some of those troops to order their gift of caring cookies or their op drop cookies in the gift of caring column so that they will physically have them so that Allison will be able to collect enough cookies to deliver to Fleet Week and the other events that she has. It is not a requirement. It is up to you if you're willing to do that. We hope that enough troops will so that there will be um, cookies available. Usually the service unit cookie chairs from these service units help Allison to gather the cookies. So if you receive that email, chances are that your service unit cookie chair will collect those cookies at some point and get them to Allison. You can check with her if you want more information on that. Um, you can also, as Marian mentioned, you can split your gift of caring orders. So um, if you have gift of caring orders for 50 boxes and you're going to have 30 boxes left over from eBuddy rounding up, then you want to put those 30 boxes in that GOC column so that you can use your extras. and um, that would be a, a good way for you to handle this. And then if there's more, in that example, there'd be 20 more. Those could go in the op drop column. Okay, I have a couple of questions. How do, um, if, can we choose the flavor of what we donate? Uh, the answer is no. If you put them in op drop, we send a variety of cookies there. And if you're donating your extras, it's whatever is there. Are, cookie, are extra cookie boxes cumulative, meaning complete cases for troop, or does it count individual girls' orders per case? No, it's the, the eBuddy system totals the troop order and cases up from all of the girl orders in the troop. So if the cookies are for donation, do we enter a specific flavor or do we get random flavors? I think I just answered that, that if they're in op drop, we send a variety to the send off. How do we add the girls to eBuddy? That, instructions for that are on page nine of your troop booklet, and we need to get those girls in ASAP. So if you're missing girls, please let us know ASAP. Do you have to zero out, oh, zero out all the extra boxes of cookies from the cases that are not fully sold? No, you don't have to, because eBuddy is going to case them up. On the second to last line, you'll see what cases you are receiving, and the total is all the way to the right, how many cases the troop is receiving. We Mike? can go back to that screen for Okay, me. thank you. Um, so you'll see this line, that I'm po this line that I'm pointing to that says packages ordered. That's what your girls have actually ordered. Those are the boxes that are ordered for customers. On the cases to order, that's the result of rounding up. So as Marianne had pointed out, under Savannah Smiles, you need 136 boxes, but eBuddy's going to round that up to 12 cases, which is 144 boxes. So on this line, it shows you that you have eight extra. So that's the way it is all across. Packages ordered is the actual totals of what the girls sold. Cases is the result of rounding up. And the last line, Others Extra Charity, are the ones you're going to have as extras from uh, the rounding up. 
Okay, someone was asking about donations. We'll get to donations and getting your about getting the cookies to the op drop send off. We'll talk about that in the next segment. I'm just looking at a few more questions. I'm confused by the math in the example GOC and op drop. Maybe because both columns in an example total 16. Can you get back to that slide? I can see that extras in the bottom row from casing up can be used for this. However, math didn't make sense to me. Well, the op drop total, uh, remember this line at the bottom is when we were adding in Aurora's order. So this line at the bottom, and I wonder if, um, actually I'm going to go ahead because I think it look you can see it better on, well no, you can't see the, the totals. Um, so we'll go back. <laughs> this is fine. So under op drop here we have a total of 92 boxes that were ordered for op drop and under the GLC we have a total of 56. On this line the extras if you add all of these together you will come up with 40. So that means you have 40 boxes here that you can use towards your 56 GLC boxes. I don't know why they have it as a negative down here. This because number, that, that comes into play when you look at all the extras on the bottom. It, it okay. subtracts. So when it when this subtracts from the 56, the 40 boxes that are actually in here, you need another 16 boxes to fulfill those 56 gift of caring boxes. This is a negative 16 because it means you need 16 more boxes to fulfill that gift of caring um, order in here. I hope that helps. Someone's asking about deleting a girl from the girls tab. The only reason you should delete a girl is if she is no longer in your troop. And I believe you should be able to delete her. It could be that I have to delete her. So email actually, us. Yeah, they actually can't be deleted because the sale has begun and because of the digital um, order card system. Uh, we can't actually delete the girl. What we do is deactivate her. So her name will still appear there, but there'll be a little note that says she's been deactivated. And someone wants to know, what's the difference between the initial order tab and the girls order tab? I think we'll talk about that in a little bit also. Because the initial order tab is, uh, I guess I'll answer it, initial order tab is where you place your cookie order. The girls order tab keeps track of how of the girl orders. You can also keep track of what girl payments have been made. If you've gotten $25 from a girl, you can put it in there and use that as your accounting system. Later on, if there are more sales or booth sales, you'll go into the girl order tab and add additional sales that the girl has made. And that's what we will use later to award make girl rewards and send out cookie credits. So the initial order tab, once you submit the order, is locked and you can't change anything on it. The girl order tab is open till the end of the sale and as I say that can be updated. Because initial order ended March 22nd, you're going to place your order in the next few days, then that's going to be locked and in there until next year girl order tab can continually be updated as cookies, more cookies are sold. And some people are having trouble logging in. Please email us about that or email your service unit cookie chair because she is best able to handle that. She's got to be sure she knows you are selling and she can help you log in or counsel can help you log in, but your service unit cookie chair should be your first stop. Do we order cookie badges through eBuddy? eBuddy does that for us. We'll get to that also. I think we're going to go on. Okay. 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 So I see, I'm just going to say I see a few other questions about girl status. And if, so if you're missing a girl or you want to delete a girl, do email one of the product salespeople, and we can help you get those things updated. So as I mentioned a minute ago, when 
the troop order is submitted, you would be, once you're done with all of the girl orders and you've saved all the way along, which that's what I recommend you do, and you're done with the troop order, you're going to go up to the top above the girl names and there's an orange button and that is where you click submit order and you are done. That locks in your order to eBuddy. That's what's the Cases down there on the next to last line, that's what's going to come on the truck. You'll be picking up all of those cases at delivery day. However, you, when, as soon as you click that submit order, you're going to get this pop-up, troop order, and you see in red, please go to your delivery tab to specify your delivery options. Well, this is a generic pop-up and this does not really apply to us because we are not yet ready with our schedule, we need to see how many cases are going everywhere and what's going to fit on the truck. So we won't be ready with a delivery schedule until April. So do check back on your delivery tab to see where your delivery will be, what time it is, set an appointment for yourself. So do check back with that. Ignore this blue pop-up. And again, be in touch with your service unit cookie chair because she is the key, she or he is the key to being aware of what's happening in the cookie sale and she or he will know about deliveries a little bit later in April. Next slide, please. Rewards. During this initial order time, we are placing the orders, the initial orders, and you know from the girl order cards that there were initial order rewards for girls who sell 100, 125, and 150 boxes. When the girl returns the card to you, be sure if she has sold any at any of those levels that she has indicated which reward she would like to receive. There were choices on every level. So a girl who sold 100 boxes is entitled to one of the two items at the 100 level. A girl who sold 125 boxes is entitled to one of the 100 rewards and one of the 125 rewards. And a girl who earned who sold 150 boxes is entitled to one at each of those three levels. So do be sure you know what she wants so that you can indicate that in eBuddy. eBuddy will figure all of the rewards. It sees all of what girls have ordered, what they've sold, and it will automatically generate rewards for the girls. So after you've submitted your cookie order, move on to the rewards tab and when the rewards tab opens, thank you Roberta, when you when you click on the rewards tab this is the screen you see and you see there are choices initial rewards order that's what we're going to and over to the right is fill out in the middle you're going to click on that and then we can go to the next slide because this troop did have a girl who sold more than 150 and if we clicked on the red next to Catherine we would get to the next screen there we would make the choices click in the boxes of which things Catherine wants and submit her girl order and there will be one of those for each of the girls who has achieved that level I think we'd like to go to the next screen once you're finished with the selection you're going to click on submit at the bottom Right, for, for those girls. Okay, I'm ready to go for some questions, so I'll look and see what the question box has for us. Okay. If a girl doesn't participate in selling, do you just put zeros across her entry? Well, the Zeros are automatically there in eBuddy. When you click on the girl name, there will be all zeros there, so you don't have to fill that in. It is there as zeros. So you can just move on to the next girl. Please remind us how many boxes sold will earn a badge. That's 25 is the minimum to get a patch. Who gets credit for girls who receive their Girl Scout forms in the Juliet? Who gets credit for girls who receive their Girl Scout forms in the Juliet pathway? The girls, the I... The girl gets the credit. Um, the girl earns the same uh, rewards as anybody else. 
Um, it, we've asked Juliet's if they've reached any of those initial reward levels um, that they need to let us know so that we can order the reward for them because Juliet orders don't go through as initial orders. Um, if they did, then those individual girls would be responsible for all the extra boxes from rounding up. So we don't do that. They pick up their cookies from our cupboards. And, but we need to know if they've sold that number of, of boxes by this time so that we can make sure that we order those rewards for them. When it comes to the end of the sale and you do final rewards, those are mostly patches and those will go to the service unit cookie chair and we will let the, those people know if there are Juliets in their service unit who have sold. Um, so we'll connect them with each other so that they can arrange to get their patches. Okay, someone's asking, a few people have asked, do orders, do online orders count toward girls' initial orders? Yes, they do. And eBuddy, if you checked into girl orders in your troop, you can see whether girls did participate in DOC because any of their DOC results, digital cookies, online ordering, I'm saying DOC is online ordering. Their sales from DOC are in the girl orders tab. They also appear, you can see, the total from the troop, if you looked at the sales report tab, we can look at some of those things later, but DOC cookies do count toward girls' initial order. And eBuddy will figure rewards based on DOC sales and whatever you are putting in for, as initial orders. If you still need 16 boxes to fulfill your GOC, how do those boxes get delivered to you? Are they already figured into the initial order? and eBuddy will send two more cases of some random cookie to fulfill the 16. Roberta, will you take that one? Do you understand? Sure. Okay. Yes. If you still need 16 boxes, as in our example before, you need to get those boxes from one of the cupboards. Every regional office has a cupboard. That's where you will get cookies for booth sales. That's where you'll pick up your goal getter cookies. And we're going to be offering a webinar on that, too. Um, and that's where you will get the cookie, the extra cookies that you need uh, to fulfill your gift of caring uh, responsibilities. So you'll put an order in through eBuddy and you'll see how to do this when we do the um, webinar on goal getters and booth sales. But the instructions are also in your troop guide so you can look in there for those. And then your account will be debited appropriately for those cookies. Now the other thing that you can do is if you're going to do booth sales and you maybe will have some cookies left over from booth sales, you can use those to fulfill your gift of caring for those 16 boxes. So if you're planning to do booth sales, you might want to wait for a while and see if you have leftover cookies from a booth sale because you, you can't return open cases from a booth sale, so you will have to pay for those cookies anyway. Uh, someone would like to know, do we have to put the toffee cookies in the initial order even if we already pre-ordered the cookies? No, don't put them in. There, We have them on a separate spreadsheet. They're not part of initial order. Don't do anything with your toffee. They're ordered. That's They're not going to go into eBuddy right now. Once we have, later in the sale, once the initial order is placed, Council will start putting in toffee cookies that have been pre-ordered. Why does it say, still say that the initial order does not equal or exceed 2014 initial orders on the settings tab? I'll just skip, instead of reading the question, Tara would like to know why it has not automatically gone up to show that her troop is earning five more cents a box because their troop has met or exceeded last year's sale. So troops that meet or exceed what they sold last year during initial order earn five cents more a box. Well that it does is not showing because that is one thing eBuddy does not figure. That will be adjusted once initial orders have gone in and shortly after that that will be updated and you will see 75 cents 
as your profit. That is a later thing that will happen. And that will all net out in the end uh, because you're in the end your total true profit will be deducted from the amount of money that you owe for cookies. So even though it's not showing on your initial order, it will be, in the end, it will all net out. It will be retroactive for all of the cookies um, that your troop has ordered. Okay, and this question is a new question. If girls have placed and paid for orders on their websites and it shows up in girl orders, will those boxes be added to the cases to order and delivered with the initial orders? No, the cookies went out via DOC. They were shipped to the customer. Those cookies are already gone, but the troop is credited for the sales. Those boxes are not added into what cases are coming to your troop because those are already sent and paid for. The only thing that is coming in your cookie delivery is what the girls have on their order cards that they turn into you and then you put those numbers into eBuddy on the initial order screen. Um, that's all that goes on the initial order screen is what you're taking and transferring from their order cards and that is what is going to be delivered to you. Excluding the extra boxes from rounding up. Someone would like to know, is the service unit cookie chair the same as my troop leader? No, but your troop leader could probably connect you to the service unit cookie chair because the service unit cookie chair is the person who manages the cookie sale in your service unit. And your service unit is usually uh, groups of troops that come out of certain schools. Usually they're grouped by schools or areas. And the troop leader probably can tell you who the service unit cookie chair is. And that person has been trained and can probably help you. Now, it, the next question is exactly what the service unit cookie person can help you with. It says, what happens if the submit order button is accidentally hit before initial girl order entries are made? So, Lisa, you can contact your service unit cookie chair or you can contact one of the product sales managers uh, who can help you with that. We can undo that at this early stage. Will the rewards be mailed directly to the girls or do we need to pick them up somewhere? This is another place where the service unit cookie chair role comes in. She will receive the initial order rewards and she also will receive the patches later in the sale. So she will be the person you contact to receive your rewards. Do online cookies count toward initial rewards? Yes. How will we know about delivery? The service unit cookie chair will let you know. Or go back into eBuddy in a week or two and see if you have the time and the place for your delivery. How do cookie credits work? Roberta, you want to talk to that for a minute? It's on the order card how they work, but they are mailed directly to girls. Yes, and we issue them twice. After, excuse me, after initial order is submitted, um, we will be doing some uh, spreadsheet work and we will be sending out the cards to the girls individually to their home addresses about the end of April or the beginning of May. Then at the end of the sale, anybody who has reached the 75 box mark and earns cookie credits will be issued a cookie card at the end of the sale. Those generally go out early June. Could be late May, but most likely it will be early June. And again, they get mailed directly to the girls' home. For girls who get their cookie credit after the initial order, they've reached 75 boxes on the initial order, and they've gotten their cookie credit card, but they've continued to sell through booth sales or goal getter cards, what we do is just add the additional money to their card. They don't get a second card. And we don't notify them that we're doing that. We just do it. And someone else would like to know, do cookie credits have to be used now during initial orders? The cookie credits that each girl gets mailed are good for three years. And 
she can use them in a many ways over the course of that time she can register for use it to register for a program she can shop in the shop she can use it at the trading post at camp there are a few uses for it and it says what the uses are when you get the letter that accompanies the cookie credit yes if a girl sells more than 150 boxes do they get choices as I said, those are cumulative, so if someone sells 150 boxes or more, she gets one reward from each of those levels, the 100, the 125, the 150. Juliet orders, as Roberta said, go directly to the product sales manager. Someone asked that. And a few questions about gluten-free. Roberta, will you just talk about gluten-free, uh, you know, what about how the orders count? Yes. Do I have to place yes. them in eBuddy? Yes, and first I want to go back to the Juliet because I don't know if we've got one person on or maybe, maybe we have a few people on who have um, Juliets in their family. Um, for the Juliet cookies, we don't need the orders right now. We just need to know if they've reached an initial reward level. The way that they'll get their cookies is to send an email to the product sale manager in the office where they want to pick up their cookies. That's probably the person who, who they gave their um, permission slip to and who they've reported um, if they've reached an initial reward order level. So they're going to email that person and tell them what the order is. I need this many boxes of mints and this many boxes of Samoas, and this is when I would like to pick them up. Um, most of us will not have cookies until April 23rd. So it will be sometime after April 23rd that they'll be able to pick up their order. They should send that in to us at least a week before they want to come and pick it up um, so that we can make sure we have those cookies in. And um, the rest of the information that they need, they should be getting from the product sales manager in the office that they're dealing with. Um, okay, so now gluten-free. Um, as most of you probably know, there was an opportunity in the month of February to order some gluten-free cookies. Um, this is a pilot program this year for Little Brownie and for us. We had to decide way back in September if we wanted to participate, and we also had to order the cookies back in September. So we had to um, guess at how many we might sell. Uh, we guessed conservatively because we didn't know what the demand would be and we didn't want to be left with a bunch of cookies that nobody bought and that had to be paid for. So we were a little conservative in our order and because of that and we wanted to make it as fair as possible, we set up the month of February as a time when people could email uh, glutenfree at girlscoutshh.org and they could order up to a case of cookies. This is a troop. Each troop could order up to a case of cookies. We said at the time that if we still had cookies available after those initial orders came in for the gluten-free, that we would have them in our regional office cupboards, and leaders would be able to order them through eBuddy, just as they would order go-getter cookies or booth sale cookies. And the instructions for doing that are in your troop guide. But again, we'll be doing the webinar on Goal Getter and, and Booth Sales. And we'll talk more about that and show you the screens uh, when that comes up. So that's how those gluten freeze will be ordered. If you are ordering them now through eBuddy, you can order up to two cases per troop. We will be um, giving them out in the order that the orders were received by us. When you put in an order through eBuddy, it tells us the date that that order was placed. So that's the way that we'll be handing out those cookies while our supplies last. So if you do want to order some, you might want to get that order in soon. Um, they are not on the order cards for anybody in the nation. That was a little brownie thing. They decided not to put them on the order cards because we all had to order in advance. And if they were on the order cards, it could turn out that we needed way more, not just us, but every council would need way more than they had. And they were only doing one baking because they have to be baked in a separate facility from the rest of the cookies. 
Um, they will evaluate this program at the end of this year. If they continue it next year, we will evaluate how it went for us and if we want to um, participate in it again until such time as they decide, if they decide, to make the gluten-free uh, part of their regular ordering system. So for now, um, that's the way it is. They are not on the girl order cards. They are not counted towards the initial order. Uh, you will not see them appear on your transaction screen until you come to pick them up. And then when we give them to you, that's when you'll see them on your transaction screen. And that will be after initial order has been submitted, um, considerably after, because we won't have them until the end of April. Did I answer all parts of that question, Marian? I think you did. Okay. If, you, she, if Roberta did not, you can type in the question. Roberta, will you go back one screen? Please, I just want to answer a question. People were, are asking about rewards. So as soon as you order your, when you finish your initial order and submit, move on over to the rewards tab and click there, fill it out, and submit. So finish your initial order and then go over to the rewards, fill in your initial rewards order, submit that and then you're done until much later in the sale when we will round up all of the cookies that girls have sold at booths, at goal getters, and the final rewards will be based on everything the girl has done during the cookie sale. So I hope I've answered those few questions that we had. Roberta, can we go on to the next slide? I'm just going to quickly go into uh, what happens next. And what happens after initial order is the girls should have received from you a black and white goal getter card. And that is a simple way of girls being able to continue to take orders. So once the initial order is placed, the cookie sale isn't over. And that's kind of, that it can be good news for troops because we, you can still get cookies at cupboards. And as you see on the screen, we have cookies available at cupboards from April 23rd to May 20th. There are cupboards, so place, a cupboard is a place you can go and get more cookies. So all of our regional offices have cupboards, and there are some community cupboards at Rock Hill Camp. Uh, there's one in Carmel. There is a few of them around up in the Kingston area, there are some community cupboards around that we will list on the website in April with hours and contact information so that you know where you can go to get cupboard cookies. As I said, regional offices all will have cupboards. And you can place an order in eBuddy letting us know that you plan to come in and pick up additional cookies. And to do that, you go to the Transactions tab. I have, a, I have a, my next slide, please. We have a few more questions, and we have gotten a few other questions in. Our girls were approached about gluten-free cookies. We took orders, but I'm still unsure how to order them. Anybody, I hope you just got that answered. Um, are the toffee cookies gluten-free? Yes, Toffee-tastic is the name of Little Brownie's cookie that is gluten-free. GSUSA did a lot of great publicity helping us because they were publicizing three new cookies. Well, we're selling two of them, Ra Ra Raisin and Toffee Tastic, which is the gluten free. Toffee Tastic is the gluten free. Can you buy by the box or the case at cupboards? You can buy by the box or the case, whatever you want. You can come in and get what you need. Uh, Except for booth sales, those are only in full cases. Thank you. So, Booth sales, as you said, we'll have a webinar on that, but March booth sales, people pre-ordered their cookies, and whatever cases they ordered for that and took out, they cannot return. Someone asked that question. And the March, so that's for March booth sales. The April slash May booth sales, you can get cookies from our cupboard, and you can return unopened cases. I was, okay, let me see what we have. Not sure you answered the question about rounding down our boxes to avoid getting extra cookies to sell. Can we make up the difference at our local cupboard? Yes. I was late in attending the webinar. Will a recording be made? Let me, let me, let okay. me say something about that, though. Okay. 
Um, yes, if you don't want the extra cookies, you can remove enough cookies from your initial order so that you're not getting those extra ones. However, you need to be careful when you remove cookies from the order because you don't want to drop a girl down from a reward level. So, for example, if a girl sells 102 boxes and you want to take four boxes out of her order because you don't want the extra cookies, that's going to drop her down to 98 boxes and now she's not going to get that initial order reward. So you want to be careful about that. So it's 100, 125, and 150 that you want to make sure you don't drop somebody down below those numbers. And also 75 boxes is the level for uh, cookie credit cards. So you don't want to drop anybody down below that. So yes, you can do it, but please be careful that you don't um, take them away from a girl. Shortchange someone. Yes, you don't want to shortchange the girls. Uh, someone wants to know, do girls receive rewards for sales after initial order? And they definitely do. If the girl sells more cookies, you enter it into girl orders, and rewards will be based on what information is in girl orders. As I said before, you continue, as you continue in the sale, you can update girl orders to show that girls have sold more cookies. Um, how do you enter the booth sales numbers? Um, that probably is about March booth sales, and once those cookies are entered into eBuddy by Council, you can update the Girl Orders tab and divide the cookies among girls who participated in the booth sale. Do cookie credits for the card accumulate from online DOC orders as well? Yes. I think we've answered our questions here. Roberta, we go on to the next slide. Ah, that's it. The next slide is thank you very much for attending. And cookies are an essential part of the Girl Scout leadership experience. And for many girls, it's the their favorite part of the Girl Scout year. So thank you for stepping up to help the girls achieve what they hope to achieve in their Girl Scout year. I think Roberta can. Perhaps might we be able to go, um, let me just say here that we did record this for people who did not attend but perhaps plan to attend. We will email out a recording of this webinar and I think we're going to have it on the website. Is that right? Mm -hmm. We yes. hope so. Okay, I think we will be able to do that. Oh, someone's asking a question that we did not talk about and that is how do we pay? You okay. probably remember that you had to, if you haven't, you need to be in contact with finance about your troop account. If you set up a troop account, then Girl Scouts was part of that. Because to set up the account, you needed Girl Scouts to be on the account. And an ACH authorization should have been signed. That is an automatic Clear, automatic Clearinghouse is what ACH stands for, and it's an automatic payment that Girl Scouts will sweep your account in May for cookies that your troop ordered. So they're going to sweep troop accounts for cookies ordered. On the sales report, you'll see what the troop owes, and that it says amount owed council. That would be the amount that will be swept from the troop account. I see there. Go ahead, Roberta. In, in your troop guide, which is the yellow booklet that you should have received when you went to cookie training, if you did not receive it, it, it is on our website. And some of us do have extra copies as well. Um, in that guide uh, is the list of the sweep dates. I believe there are four of them. There the are. Yeah. Right. First one is April 13th, and that's just going to be for the March cookie booth um, sales. The others, it says in the guide what they're for. They're not going to sweep your whole cookie um, amount at one time. It's broken up a little bit. So to get that information, you can look in your troop guide, and that will um, explain to you how they're taking the money out and when they're taking it out. 
Okay, I see a few more questions. And one person is asking about the extra five cent bonus. And can we go to a live screen for a minute, Roberta? Can you see if we can get Let's to that? Let's try. Yeah, because I would like to look at a couple of things there. Um, let's see. Just bear with me for a minute. Well, I appreciate your technological skills. <laughs> Someday we're going to be really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> we're learning. Okay, the first thing I wanted to point out to everyone is at the top, Roberta, the green sales season. So right there, it looks like it's a decoration, but if you click on that, you will see there's a drop down and you can see what the troop did in previous years sales wise. So if you would like to know what is your target goal for what did my troop sell last year during initial order, you can go to that place, click there, and then you are into last year's information. One tricky thing is if you were not the cookie chair for last year, you may not have access to that information. The service unit cookie chair would have to specify when she sets you up and can change this for you um, that you should be able to look at all seasons so that you can see that data. So let's look at, um, well let's look at the, I pulled up a troop. Obviously you don't see all this stuff. We see it because we have every troop in here. Um, so I've pulled up a troop's initial order from last year. So this troop had 81 cases that they ordered last year on their initial order. So in order for them to get the extra five cents this year, they will need to sell 81 cases or more because it's equal to or greater than last year's initial order. Um, and for this purpose, the DOC cookies do not count. And the reason for that is that we there's no way that we can get a report that shows us how many cookies were ordered uh, with the, within the initial order period. We felt like this was just going to be something that we wouldn't be able to figure out. So you have to actually match this number with your regular troop initial order or exceed it to get the extra five cents. Um, we are told by the people who uh, are running the DOC website that one of the things they want to do next year is to be able to pull reports based on dates and if they can do that then it might change next year. So that's how you look at last year's um, amount. You click on up here, change it to last season, and then you'll just be in your own troop, so it'll pop up right away. Look at your initial order screen. Will you go back to this year and then click on girl orders, please? Sure. What troop do we want to go into the four? Uh, uh, um, you want to go to 40436? Okay. 40436. And we're going to the girl orders tab. Yes, yeah, so I just want to show on there. Uh, we were talking about updating girls' sales. So this troop hasn't entered their initial order sales, but you see one girl here has sold 135 in op drop. It, click on that girl, Roberta, please. Okay, so now we're switching to Catherine. And Catherine, I'm just showing you, she's got lots of DOC. She's got lots of the online sales. And that's what they look like if they are in your troop. And you see all the way over to the right, total paid. So the troop, if we clicked on sales report, the troop would, we would be acknowledging, anybody will be acknowledging on the sales report that this much dollars have already been paid into council and there is going to be credit. Well, you might as well click on sales report. I, I will. I just wanted to point out okay. over here, um, DOC uh, is obvious. It's a DOC order. DON means it was donated. donated. This was an op drop order. SHIP means it was a shipped order. Thank you. Okay, and then the rest is the order number. So here's the sales report. 
And we're just using this to show you that they, this troop, this troop has a tremendous, uh, they've got tremendous community support for their donated boxes, as you can see. But so far, all they have is donated boxes. But the council will take into account on the upper right there that all those payments have been made, $965 have been paid to council. So that will be credited over to the to the left where it says true proceeds. That's the profit on only their up drop cookies, the donate, I'm sorry, the DOC cookies. So all of those things will be taken into account when it says amount you owe council comes up. We will know that you paid for cookies via DOC and that you're entitled to profit from DOC. Should we look at the transaction screen? Or? Yeah, let's look at that too. Okay. And someone would like to know when Operation Cookie Drop will be held. That should be, Roberta, in the first or second weekend in June? It will be either the first or second Saturday in June. It hasn't been finalized yet because we need confirmation from the site. Um, but it will be either the first or second. And as soon as we know, we'll put the information out to you. Okay, so this is the transaction screen. This is the screen that's going to show all of the cookies that are sold and that come in and out of your troop. So right now for this troop, they're all DOC transactions. Once they order something from the cupboard, like if they do a booth sale, then you'll see a number over here. This will say booth. The date that the transaction took place will be here. Um, this will be the cupboard number where they're getting the cookies from. In this case, there's a DOC cupboard that's been identified. Um, but you would select the cupboard that you want to pick up the cookies at, and that would show here. And then what you ordered would show across here. So that would be in your transactions when you, when you put the order in, it shows as a pending order. Uh, when we accept that order, we click and we unpend it. Then it's a firm order. Then it's in your troop, and it will appear on your sales report as cookies that you've received. It will also appear on the Grow Orders page down here where it says Troop Order. Um, right now, the number is 239 because that's how many were ordered from the DOC. But um, if you got cookies from a, for a booth sale, that number would be down here. And then to add them to the girls, you would click on each girl. You'd get boxes, just like on the initial order, at the bottom, and you would put in the number of cookies um, that they ordered. It, won't, it will show like this, where you have a booth column and an other column. And there's a column for Toffee Tastics that were sold um, initially or sold by the girls. And then if we have them available for booth sales and you take a case for a booth, then those would go in here. Anything else we want to show here, or are there any more questions? Well, I see one other question. Someone's asking a very basic question about, okay, so we sell the cookies. How do we get our profit? And just to be very simple about it, the money that you get for cookies goes into the troop account. So any payments you get by check should be written to the troop, deposited in the troop account. Council later on will, email, will sweep the account what's owed. But what is owed is for the boxes at $3.30 each. So you are keeping the $0.70 cents a box that you're entitled to. So the council is going to sweep all but the $0.70 cent profit from your account. So is this an example here? Yes, this is from last year because this Good. has information Good. in it. So you see over here all the packages this troop received. This was their initial order, and this is in boxes. These were, this was for the March booth sale. I can tell by the cupboard number. And then these were all 
other booth sales or in the case of these they were um, goal getter orders and so this one probably was too. Um, this is the cupboard number. So the total boxes and also what they ordered in the op drop column also appears here because they're responsible to pay for all of those cookies. So this is the number of cookies that they're responsible to pay for. This number under troop sales is the number of boxes times four dollars a box. That's what's here. Over here it shows all the deposits that they made and some of these were um, ACH deposits. Down here we see what their total troop proceeds are. This troop earned 70 cents a box. You can see up here they earned 70 cents a box. So this number is their troop profit. That's 1,545 boxes times 70 cents is right here. Over here we see what they deposited. So oh, down here is the council proceeds. This is what they owe us. This is the money they should have taken in for all those cookies they sold. This is the amount of their profit that they keep. This is the amount of money that they owe us, which was swept from their account. This number goes over here the proceeds that are owed to us minus the deposits that were made and they have a zero balance because they paid everything. everything. Um, before the final sweep is made when you look at your sales report you're going to see this in progress. So after the first sweep you're going to see still a balance down here probably. Um, if after the first sweep you get more cookies for goal getters or cookies for a booth that's going to be added in. So there will be times when it will show that you owe money, but at the very end of the sale this should be a zero balance. Any other questions that you see? One other question that people are, have asked is I think some of the people on the call have had a March booth, which is great. When will those go be entered into eBuddy? And the answer is after initial order, and those cookies that were sold in the March booths will count toward final rewards, not toward initial order rewards. True. And when we say after the initial order has been submitted, first of all, we're talking about when we submit it to the cookie company, not when you submit it to us. So our date to submit to Little Brownie is April 1st. You will not see these cookies on April 2nd or April 3rd. We have other things that we're doing at that time, which is mainly concerned with delivery. So at some point after that, we will be putting these transactions in. Oftentimes what we do is we wait. We All of our offices have cookie temps. We hire people to work with us during booth sale time, and they start the, the week that uh, right before booth sales. So booth sales start on April 24th. So most of these temp jobs will start the beginning of that week. And usually one of the first projects we give them because it's good training for them is entering in these booth sales. So you probably won't see them in until closer to the end of April. And it depends on which cupboard you got them from. Pleasantville has a huge number. That's our biggest population and the largest number of booth sales. So those are going to take the longest to, um, to put in. If you got your cookies from Kingston, those, that is not so um, big of a cupboard, except that it is also the person who handles Middletown, and that's a large cupboard. So don't be upset if you don't see them in there. Um, you should see them by the end of April. If you don't see them by the end of April, then you want to get in touch with us and say, hey, what happened? Because maybe we gave it to the wrong troop. Sometimes when you're typing in numbers, if you're troop 10105, we might type in 10501 or something like that. Because we do make mistakes. We try not to, but we're human. Uh, so we do make mistakes. So if it's not in there by the end of April, do get in touch with us so we can track it down. Anything else, Mary? Uh, someone asked about what's the lowest level to earn a patch, and the, if a girl sells 25 boxes, she earns the theme patch. And she has the whole cookie sale to reach that number. 
Right, because patches are tallied at the very end of the sale. So as we said before, if girls make additional sales, be sure to update in the Girl Orders tab and enter booth sale information in the Girl Orders tab. That is where we will find what we need to know. eBuddy will automatically award patches to girls who have donations in their Girl Order tab, girls who participated in booths, patches will be awarded based on what's in there. So this is the perfect example that this one girl is earning, one girl has 60, many of the girls here I see have earned the do, gift of caring patch because they have donations. Many of the girls participated in the booth sale, they'll be getting a patch for that. And then of course they will receive patches based on how many boxes they sold, which would be a third patch. Mean to click there. And we will be having a webinar later on about booth sales and goal getters. We'll have some ideas and just let you know how easy it is to do. Uh, someone wanted to know who does setting up a booth sales. It really could be any registered parent in the troop. Lots of parents have connections to businesses or they have ideas of good places where there's a lot of traffic that girls could attract attention and sell lots of cookies. And that is really up to the troop who would be in charge of setting up a booth. And we will have some council arranged booth signups in April that we're getting to that. We're going to finish initial order and then in April we will probably send you an email with a few days notice to let you know, go ahead and reserve this time because we're going to have a council booth sign up. In the meantime, we encourage you to go out and find new places that are in your neighborhood that would be good places to sell. We have recorded this webinar. Someone's asking this. I said earlier that the webinar is recorded and will be available after tonight. Not immediately after, though. Right, because right, not immediately after. It's up on the website, so it will probably be a few days before you see it there. And patches, as I said before, are go to the service unit cookie chair, and she distributes to troops. Usually that is at a service unit meeting. And someone says if they participate in Operation Cookie Drop, are they eligible for the GOC patch? If they have a donation in eBuddy, a box that's donated, and recorded in eBuddy, they will get a GOC patch. If they do not have a donation in eBuddy, there are participation patches usually for sale in the shops that say Operation Cookie Drop, and then there are the additional ones to update as you attend each year. And please, last one, how many boxes of cookies are in a case? And the answer is 12. Every case has 12. So I think we're at the end of our questions and of our evening. Yeah, we're Thank just about at the end of our time. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for attending. We hope you've learned something. We enjoyed talking and talking and not hearing anyone. Not so, not so fun. But thank you all for attending, and good luck with your cookies. Good night, everybody. Good night.